Yo, what up? It's your boy, one JJ Stone, aka Black Gritty. Welcome to another episode of Gritty Night. Say what's up to the people. Jason. What's going on, man? We're as unorganized as the Eagles looked yesterday. Uh, there's no need to be organized. We're, we're gonna. <laughs> we this, are a mess. This might now. Nah, we're fine. This is gonna be like a good <laughs> ten minute easy peasy. That's they right. were trash. Eighteen the, minutes. Yeah. So, um, what was your biggest takeaway from the preseason game against the Browns? Uh, they were sloppy and way too many injuries. The biggest worry is injuries right now. So let's get that out of the way first. The injuries and the wave and the crowd. That was bad. It was bad. I'm not going to say that it wasn't bad. Right. That's not the normal fans. I am going to add a conjecture to that. Yes. So one, even when I was watching the broadcast live, I was on the phone with someone and we're like, oh, is he hurt? And we were both like, oh, he'll be okay. Because it looked like he was about to get up. It did. And then so we we stopped paying attention because they went to commercial and we're talking. And the next thing I know, I look at the TV again and I'm like, they got the stretcher out there. And I'm like, Oh snap. I've been talking for a good five minutes while all that was going on on the TV on the field. And I wasn't watching it. So because it's a preseason game, I'm not as engaged. All those fans there are people who cannot afford to go Correct. to regular season games. There were so many children there. Yep. Uh, like, they're not your regular season veteran fans that know about the sport. Now it's bad because they pulled a card out, but the wave, some people were saying that it already started when the, when the break happened, when the first injury happened before they brought the card out, but it continued on through while they're bringing the card out. So right. either way it looks bad, but those people aren't your knowledgeable, hardcore fans. Right. Not so, a world ender, but still just a bad, it's look. just a bad look for the rap that we get about everything else. Yes. But <laughs> um, you know, like I said, there was good little, news is Tyree Cleveland's okay. Yes, everybody is okay and alive and breathing. And yes, they're going to be all right. No life threatening injuries. Correct. So that's a plus there. Um, we did lose McPherson to an Achilles. Yes, he's be out for the year. year. Everybody and he, else. And he was going to be a backup rotational guy, but I mean, still, you know, yep. he was playing pretty good. Um, to be to hopefully make the team and do that. And uh, the wide receiver is kind of upsetting because everybody just wants anything besides Watkins. So, um. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the quarterback situation, your boy, Mariota, oh, your boy, my boy. That's your boy. Oh, it's not my boy. Because I'm claiming uh, touchdown Tanner. Tanner. <laughs> it's Tanner time, boy. Tanner time. I go touchdown Tanner, Tanner time. Yeah. T- TD Tanner. Right. So uh, let's start with Marcus Mariota. We and you talked about this before we even saw him play because we watched the documentary QB thing on yeah. Netflix. And he just seemed like a guy who wants to be a starter and needs to be a starter. Oh, I'm not the starter. Oh, I'm checking out and I'm going to go be a baby daddy and hang out with my family because I got a family, which again, you and I have kids. We love the kids. It's all about the kids. Great. But you can't have this driving ambition to be a starter and then back out and check out on your team and not show up. Right. If you're a leader, you're a leader. You got to be there, whether you're the starter, the backup, whatever it is, you're still there for the team. Yeah. And compete. Yep. Compete. You're not the starter because you suck. And now you see why you took a backup role here for $5 million guaranteed. And I actually wondered during that game, like, would they cut him? They can't cut him. I know. <laughs> I, I mean, not for nothing. Jeffrey Lewis would be pissed off if they cut him for $5 million. For sure. So, it, and you can't trade him because you can't flip him to anybody. So, oh, if, if nothing else, he's just on your roster as the third quarterback. And right. not for nothing, you watch what happened with the 49ers. You might need a third quarterback. Who knows? So he's not getting cut from this team. Everybody keeps bringing up. He's not getting cut. Niners are like, man, if we had Tanner McKee last year, we'd be in the Super Bowl. You might Tanner McKee. <laughs> so Nick Foles is not an option. Oh, my God. Why was I, that even discussed? Because that? I heard some of the worst options ever today. Somebody said Kaepernick today, who hasn't played in so long. Seven years. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I love Kaepernick. But guess what? He For ain't sure. been hit either. Yeah. If, if Mariota looks skittish and he's out there getting hit on a regular, consistent basis, right. I know Cap's out there working out and training, but Cap ain't been hit. In a minute. We talked weeks ago about Cam Newton, whether he should be a backup somewhere at least, and he certainly has to be better than Mariota was. I, and I told you that. You did? And you poo-pooed me a little bit because yeah. he said his I arms, said his arms messed up. But and I'm just he's like, still got to be better than Mariota. He's, he's definitely better than Mariota. And, and the worst part about Mariota is that he was making the right reads. He can't throw. He can't throw. Right. Underthrow, overthrow. To the wide open guy. He brought Kyle the- Schwarber's arm to the game. Oh, my God. He's he was throwing to the right person on every play. Yeah. 
and just couldn't even come close to hitting them. No. And the two times that he did get lucky enough to hit him, the coverage is so tight, the ball got blown out of their hands because he's late delivering the ball. Because he has no zip and on then, it either. Yes, and then he's just pre-scrambling because he's scared to death. Now, to help him out, you'd say, Nick Foles looked like trash, and they helped him along and mm-hmm. all those things, and I get all that. But guess what? I don't know if you can have to even worry about that. One, if he was playing behind an offensive line that was a real offensive line here, he'd be safer. Right. He would hopefully be less skittish. But that has nothing to do with not being able to hit a guy wide open when you do throw the ball. Right. His footwork was bad. He couldn't connect on anything. Like I said, his velocity was the most concerning part of it. And even his scrambling, like, cool, he's scrambling. He looks like every regular white guy that runs the ball. Like he, he he used to be faster. He's getting older now he's too. Older. Yeah, he's old. So he's not going to be breaking the the speed barrier, juking anybody to right. death. Matter of fact, he's looking for the sidelines most of the time, which is smart because you're the quarterback. But I mean, right. even his whole you bring him in because he can run and replace the run in case you like if Jalen goes down. Uh, my son Tanner McKee is going to come in to save the day. <laughs> I'm I'm claiming him as my own. Right. I saw one take that said we shouldn't worry about the backup quarterback because they paid Jalen all that money, and that one didn't make sense to me either. Like so, it's two different positions. Okay, so obviously I, if Jalen gets hurt, the season's in trouble. We all know that. I call the radio a lot, and I I'm not an expert, but sometimes like days like today, yeah, even the hosts are doing the thing for just calls, calls, yeah, and it pisses me off. I turned it off today. I'm like Nick Foles cannot be your option. No, and for uh, flip flops to put Tom Brady, I know. Stop it. No. Stop it. Carson? Tom, Tom, <laughs> I Car- saw that one on there. Carson's too. more realistic than Tom Brady coming yes. back to come play here. Uh, when I looked at that list, actually, I was like, Matt Ryan, maybe? As an old veteran? And, like, and Matt Ryan. He wasn't see, good last year either. And he wasn't either. And, oh, yeah. and he was behind a good offensive line. Yes, and they could was. run the ball. Right. So, so, But of all the names on that list, I was like, eh. right. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, I mean, Carson hasn't been getting hurt. He's been making it through season. They just not play. I don't think he could accept being a backup, though. Well, that, that's, well, that's the issue. That's his problem. Especially that's Ryan's here. problem. That's yeah. everybody's problem. And guess what? You think you're not okay to be a backup until you're sitting out there on the sidelines. No job. And no job. <laughs> and you're giving out Christian cheese sandwiches all day. <laughs> and you're going to end up going broke because your foundation don't make money. Got an audience of one you, for you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let me get back on track. So... I feel like Tanner McKee behind the number one offensive line in the country. They make the wild card with him being yeah. the QB for now. Yeah, he <laughs> he could be your Brock Purdy. Yes. He could be your hero, That's baby, it. at least for a game or two. I don't know what kind of magical run he could go on. Right. But he was dropping dimes. He was. And again, it's the second and third. Yeah, but yeah. he's throwing to second and third guys too. But to drop a over-the-shoulder back fade pass, that's just accuracy, bro. And he, and he threw a key block on Trey Sermon's touchdown. Yeah, he was yeah, out he there did. blocking. Yeah, he did. He didn't even touch anybody, but he was there. I'm yeah, in the way. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, Howie, the QB factory is out of order right now. And the one thing I, you know, I, you know, I mean, I've been holding off on the QB factory thing for a while and, and the yeah. Howie parade thing for a while because the QB factory is Andy Reid. Andy Reid's a QB factory. Correct. You know what's funny? When we did the draft recap afterwards, Tanner McKee was the pick that was given the worst grade of all the Eagles picks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, he, and he's out there balling. He is. He's out there balling. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, my, my, my son, Tanner McKee, I, I claimed him today. He's That's fair. That's fair. And uh, so let's move on to the defense. The defense in general looked trash. Yeah. But the whole game was trash. There's no scheme. There's it, none of that stuff. We all know all the stuff. But yeah, whatever. we all know all the things. Yeah. But what I do know is there's some playmakers out there. Nolan Smith. Yeah, he's fast. <laughs> Not only is he fast, he is strong yeah. and savvy. He was killing the Browns first that, round pick. That DeJuan my Jones. God. And the first play when he grabbed, dude tried to push off him. Mm-hmm. He went under him, scooped both his wrists, yep. shook him, and pushed him off, and then went around him. I'm like, yo, that speed was That's incredible. The jersey I yeah, I was thinking. So I'm gonna get to that in a second. That's the jersey you want. You want the Smith? I do. So. We also know Carter's going to be a beast. Like it's just already a, a formula. Sure, thing. Sees it doesn't it? It does. And so I, you know, I know everybody's hating on Davis, but I feel like the tandem of them two together, 
are going to work out well. One guy's going to stop the what run. Davis is going to end up being. And he's doing. a run stopper. Right. That's he's a job. run stopper. And yes. they're like, he's not an every down tackle. No one in the Philadelphia Eagles right. organization for the last everyone. six years <laughs> is an every down right. tackle. And when you do have one, like you try to do to Fletcher, you burn them out yep. five games in and you got to bring in Sue and uh, what's his name? Linval Joseph. Linval Joseph. So nobody's an every down tackle tackle or lineman defensive line and it works with the rotation it does it yeah. really does so um it, it just they all look so good they all look so fast so you're gonna get the smith jersey i'm talking about sydney brown yeah sydney brown i mean his whole you know you got the Bad backstory intentions. yeah you got the the, the backstory <laughs> and all that kind of stuff he 510 and he's just out there just rocking and rolling like Throwing his body into it. I'm like, yo, bro, slow down. This is preseason, homie. He's like, I got one speed. Yeah, true. <laughs> he do. He does. He, yep. That's exactly right. He has one speed. I'm like, slow down, brother. Like, woo. You know, uh, I I can't wait to see him in the regular season so I can start comparing him to things and being hyper, hyperbolic about yeah, his play. Yeah, he'll be a starter soon. Uh, yes. If not week one, it'll be yes. early in the season. Yes. He'll be starting. And I need people to stop hating on blanket ship. I feel like it's reverse racism. Every time somebody <laughs> bring up blanket ship, they're like, ah, oh, blanket ship. Blank I think it's ship, where he was drafted, hopefully. It, it, well, I think it's because he's white. I mean, right. he's the only white boy out there <laughs> on defense. He's he the only one without a tan, man. So you know yeah. it's him. You're like, oh, who do who hit that? That was blanket ship. Like, yeah. you know. But I loved blanket ship because uh, last year we talked about it. He came in because somebody went down when uh, CJ DJ went down. <laughs> and yeah. uh, he came in instantly. Tackle, boom, interception, boom. I was like, oh, yeah, he flashes. He had so, one bad play, and people hold that one against him when I, Watson I, ran by him in the Green Bay game. But Watson's super fast. Yes, it was one bad play by yeah, a rookie. Yeah, so, and and not for nothing. And they won that game. And for nothing, <laughs> it happens. And who knows what the coverage was if he thought he had help or something right. like that? Because unless you're a big play slay, you don't need to throw your guy underneath the bus <laughs> to let people know if you're supposed to have help or not. Or who, the who's man it was. Point the finger move. Ooh, I thought he was behind me. Like, yeah, no, I thought I had a backup there. Yeah. But uh yeah, so Sidney Brown is the jam. And um Nicobe Dean is gonna be good. So we talked last year a bunch about Nicobe Dean that we were never knew if he was good, but all we knew is he made plays in yes. college. And certain guys are just built to be playmakers. Yeah. And then early on in his first chance as a starter, what does he do? Causes a turnover, makes a play. And that's all we need him to do. So <laughs> He got in that Tennessee game last year. I know which he is made tons of tackles. Seven tackles. Yeah. And I mean, he was everywhere. Yep. <laughs> and everybody was so excited. But guess what? Maybe there were people there that were, quote, unquote, better than him or more experienced. Mm -hmm. Or maybe our doofus, magoofus <laughs> defensive coordinator just didn't like him, which happens sometimes yep. with guys. Maybe he did not like whatever he didn't like about him. Maybe him whatever in that injury on. was that caused him to fall in the draft was an actual thing. And the Eagles just the whole time were acting like it wasn't. Yes. There's and, all types of stuff yep, that could happen. And but. trying to get him healed up. So there's a whole bunch of things, right. but all I know is he is to what you said. He's just a gamer. Yeah. I don't need to see him in tr training camp. I don't need nope. to see him in warmups. I need him on the field when the whistle blows rocking and rolling. And, uh, it, you know, it was so funny because you know, people were like, oh, he got lucky, he missed a tackle. I'm like, it's a goal line thing. Your job yeah. is to blow up he blew up the, the play. play. Right. And on top of it, he caused a turnover because he was there so fast. Right. And I heard Ike Reese say earlier that the defensive end would have made the tackle on that play anyway because he slowed down the running back. Yes. And that, and that's what breaking through the line means. Yep. That's all his job and was. That's what you're supposed blow to do. Blow that play up. Make and, a decision and go. And so, yeah, I, I'm just excited about the defense, man. I think they might be good. I think they might be but, good. Uh, I know that this blonde chick, whoever's filling in for um, uh, we Stephen A. Say Smith. That? Are we allowed to say that now? Blonde chick? Blonde chick? She's, yeah. That's a descriptor. <laughs> a blonde Caucasian female that's on the first take <laughs> show in the morning yes. guest mm -hmm. hosting. I should know her name. I'll put it up on the screen by the time I figure that out. Right. But she seems like she grew up in, ta in Dallas because her whole thing is like, well, the Cowboys are just going to be better. The Eagles lost so many people. And, that, and I was like, are you, but are you looking at the Eagles game? Right. Because, I mean, oh, it's just backups. Well, I mean, the Cowboys were in there with their backups and got annihilated. By right. Well, the, the Cowboys are super happy about their five foot four running back that they have. <sighs> He's shifty, though. They're Darren Sproles light. Yeah. 
I see. I'm not hating on him, but he's little. I'm not hating on him either. <laughs> and I, I tell you what, he better be Darren Sproles. Yeah. He better know how to get down and be shifty because his welcome to the NFL moment is going to have one. that ball yeah. flying 42 <laughs> feet in the air, hitting Jerry's little space dome TV set <laughs> <laughs> when he gets popped out there. Because yeah. he's little. He is little. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and oh God, I'm not talking about the Cowboys. But Dak Prescott tried to throw a fade route to him in the end zone when he's double covered. Yeah, that, double covered to a guy that's 5'6"? Five, 5'5". Five, five. Five, five. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> but again, I, I don't I care know, about But let's them. focus on the Eagles. We're focusing. Yeah. Uh, defense is fast. Defense looks good. I'm really excited. I'm happy. Um, they're always sloppy the first Three games of the year. Yeah, Nick Under better Nick. get that bullhorn out again, right? Well, yelling because the penalties don't stop. No, they don't stop. And I feel like I, I really <laughs> feel like that it's it's not going to stop. Right. I know he's trying to be more hard nosed and we got to be perfect and all that yeah. stuff. The last two, his opening two seasons, mm -hmm. the first three games of the year, sloppy. They're sloppy and have penalties. Yeah. And again, it's always him. It's Barnett is usually eighty percent of them, right. but there's still another twenty percent of dues. And that's probably the give and take of them not playing as much in the preseason. Yeah, but it gets everyone to the season healthy, so it's yeah. a. I'd rather have that and do deal, deal with the slappiness. To be honest, yes. if I have to pick one, that's yes. that's the route I'm going to take. And uh, just one thing too, there's a lot of noise locally about oh, they're going to lose the Patriots. Why? Because of Bill Belichick. Okay. And I'm like, you know, Bill Belichick doesn't play football, right? Right. Like they when don't. I when I when I ask you why they're going to lose, you say, "Oh, Bill Belichick's got so hard sleep." I'm like, again. Bill Belichick doesn't play football. What did, what would he have up his sleeve? I'm confused. I don't like, I don't know because he's not stealing plays because anymore. Because you're I don't exactly and the defense isn't elite anymore, and Tom yeah. Brady's not and the coming back to elite. play. Right. And without Tom Brady, he's been a 500 less than 500 coach. Yeah, he he's got a problem. On if his you're hands. really looking at it, the past few years, Andy's the better coach. Andy is 100 percent the better coach. Right. Andy, is, Andy also has Mahomes now. Yes, so. uh, but again, so, yeah, <laughs> he could, he did it with anybody. He did it with Allen. I know. You know so. Yeah, Alex. Alex. I keep calling him Alan. I always call him Alan. It's okay. Alex. White Smith. guys. Alex. I mean, right. yeah. <laughs> Alan, Alex is too close. Too many A's, too many S's. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So I, I just don't understand why people think, oh, they're going to lose that game to the Patriots. And it makes me sick because the only, when I ask people why, it's Bill Belichick. Right. I'm like, it might who? be closer than people. I'm like, think. do you even know who the wide receivers are on that team? Right. Do, do you know who the linemen are? Do you I know, know who, who the best the wide receiver is? Who? Juju. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh man, we are definitely beating the <laughs> Patriots. I didn't even know he's on. That's how much I don't care outside of my market right now. But they did sign Zeke. Oh no, yeah, they did sign Zeke. So you know, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Who's the next team we play in preseason? Uh, I don't know who they played? Ravens. Usually the Jets. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But usually the Jets. They usually finish with them. Um, hopefully it's not the Jets because we have to play the Jets this season. Yeah, that's who it usually is though. Yeah. Um, so it'll be on Hard Knocks. It is going to be on Hard Knocks. <laughs> if it is the Jets. Are you watching Hard Knocks? I haven't yet. Um, I have been busy. You have been busy. It's soccer season. Yeah. So your, your time is limited. That's why we're actually doing Gritty Nights at True Nights. Gritty Nights. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is Gritty Nights. I'm in the streets. We got <laughs> but we're not. Mr. <laughs> we are inside. <laughs> Shut up. They don't know where we're at. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, uh, that's about it for us. We're just going to wrap it up real quick. You just want to talk about that. Playmakers on defense. That's the most playmakers on thing. defense and Tanner time. Tanner time. I believe in him. I again. I know people are like, oh, you can't go into the season like that. Why not? It's not like we're naming him the starter. No, like, he's a backup. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and you're not cutting Mariota. So right. if he's Fugazi, Wizzy, Woozy as they the third, in, and man. you put Mariota and he sucks for two plays, you pull him and put Tanner time in and let him rock and roll. Right. What I guess stinks is you're not gonna be able to put. McKee on the practice squad. He'll never make it on the practice no. squad because he's going to get snatched up by somebody. So exactly. now the Eagles are going to have to carry three quarterbacks, which means somebody else loses a spot on the roster. Well, that's that's the that's part. the real problem, right? And that's why I'm telling everybody that might have to happen, right? Because they're not going to cut Mariota, right? Because and they have all those young corners, and I don't know if which ones they're going to keep, which ones they're going to get rid of. <sighs> Ringo looks like he got a long ways to go. Yeah. Uh, Eli Ricks looked not great the other day. I brought I brought up that how he does a great job in stashing these guys on the practice yeah. squad because nobody ever picked up Boston Scott or Ward from us. Yeah, and a couple other guys have always just come up big for us. A QB I don't know. will go. Yeah, a QB, <laughs> a QB, a QB <laughs> will go. Yeah, but uh, 
You may stick Mariota down there. Nobody will take him. <laughs> Give him five mil to go sit on practice. He'll go squad. sit home. Oh, I'm going home, guys. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, go go home. We'll call you if you need you. Episode two, a quarterback. He's just gone for the rest of the season. It's so disgusting that he's yeah. in here. <laughs> uh, I'm your boy, Black Gritty. Jason at IQMZ Sports. Yeah, man. Uh, follow us on the internet. And, uh, yeah, it's a quick one tonight. Just to yep. get one in. We're out.